let us discuss problems involving direct variation. What is direct variation? If x is increases, y it is also increases. When x is decreases, y is also decreases. Let us define a variable to be used and set up an equation for the following variations. In example number 1, the price P is varies directly as the number of goods. So the variable P and then the variable G. So if we write an equation that is P, so varies directly, so P it is equal to K times G. K, that is the constant of variation. How about number 2? The number of movie tickets M, so that is the first variable, directly proportional to the number n, second variable, of people who watch it. So it means m, it is equal to k times n. In number 3, the discount in a store s, directly proportional to the price of the product p. So it means s is equal to k times p. How about number 4? The number of liters l consumed by a motor, proportional to the number of meters. So it means L it is equal to K times M. How about number 5? The commission C of an agent varies directly as the number of sales S. So it means C is equal to K times S. So let us solve the value of x and y, assuming that y varies directly as x. If y equals 6 when x is equal to 2, what is the value of y when x is equal to 7? So our equation y varies directly as x. So y, it is equal to k times x. So the value of y, that is equal to 6, so let us write 6, is equal to the constant of variation k times the value of x that is equal to 2. If we divide both sides with positive 2, so it means 6 divided by 2 and then 2 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. So 3 equals k or k that is equal to 3. So we have the constant of variation that is equal to 3. How about if we solve the value of y? Find y when x equals 7. So we have no value of y. So y, it is equal to the value of k, that is 3. Multiply it with 7, that is equal to 21. So 7 times 3, that is equal to 21. So the value of y is equal to 21. So based on the question, what is the value of y? So the only answer, y equals 21. How about number 2? If y equals 14 when x is equal to positive 2, what is the value of y when x is equal to 10? So the formula, y it is equal to k times x. The first value of y, that is 14, so let us write, and then multiply it with k times 2. So the value of x, that is equal to 2. So let us solve, let us divide by 2 because the numerical coefficient of k that is equal to 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 1. So 7 is equal to k or k it is equal to 7. So we have the constant of variation. So let us continue to solve. What is the value of y when x is equal to 10? So y it is equal to 7 times the value of x that is equal to 10. 7 times 10 that is equal to 70. So the value of y is equal to 70. How about number 3? If x is equal to 3 when y it is equal to 9, what is the value of x when y equals negative 27? Our equation y equals kx. The value of y that is equal to 9, let us replace, let us copy k, and x that is equal to 3. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of k that is equal to 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3, that is 1k. 
So it means 3, that is equal to k, or k, that is equal to 3. So the value of k, that is equal to 3. So let us continue. What is the value of x when y equals negative 27? So it means our y is negative 27. Let us replace our k, that is equal to 3, multiply it with x. So let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x, so that is equal to 3. So negative 27 divided by 3, that is equal to negative 9. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So negative 9, it is equal to x, or x is equal to negative 9. So the value of x, that is equal to negative 9. How about number 4? If 5 ball pen costs 75 pesos, find the cost of 25 ball pen. First, we need to identify our variable. First, our variable that is cost, so first letter is C. And then another variable that is ball pen, so our first letter is B. So our formula C, it is equal to K times B. So first, our cost, that is 75 pesos, and then the ball pen, that is 5. If we replace to the formula that is 75, it is equal to k times 5. And then afterwards, let us divide both sides by 5. So that becomes 75 divided by 5, that is equal to 15. So 15 is equal to k, and then k is also equal to 15. We have the constant of variation that is equal to 15. Let us continue to identify what could be the cost of 25 ball pen. So it means C, it is equal to K, the value of K, that is equal to 15. Let us write. And then the ball pen, that is 25. 15 20 times 25, that is equal to 375. So it means the cost of 25 ball pen, that is equal to 375. How about number 5? If 6 donuts cost 132 pesos, find the cost of 30 donuts. So first, we need to identify our letter. So our letter, donuts, the first letter is D. And then the cost, that is the first letter is C. So cost, it is equal to K times the donuts. So C, it is equal to K times D. First, we need to solve for the constant. So C our cost, that is 132 pesos, is equal to K times the value of how many donuts, that is equal to 6. So let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of K, that is equal to 6. So 132 divided by 6, that is equal to 22. So 22, it is equal to 6 divided by 6, that is equal to 1. So it means K, that is equal to 22. So we have the constant of variation that is equal to 22. So let us continue. Let us find the cost of 30 donuts. So it means C it is equal to KD. So C is equal to K, that is 22. And then multiply it with 30 donuts. So 22 times 30. 22 times 30, that is equal to 660. So the cost of uh, 30 donuts, that is equal to 660. 60. Instruction Solve the following problems involving direct variation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.